Well, spring is here, and with it comes ticks and Lyme disease, but now scientists are warning about another potentially deadly disease that those bugs could carry. It's called the Powassan virus, and there are reports that ticks carrying that virus have turned up in Bridgeport and Branford. Now, symptoms of the virus very similar to Lyme disease, except they come on very suddenly and can be very severe. The signs include a stiffness in the neck, seizures, and a high fever. Here in the U.S., there have only been 60 human cases reported, but the CDC is keeping a very close eye on things. And while we are on the topic of ticks, we've got you back now with how to keep you and your family safe from tick bites. Meteorologist Sam Cantro has more on that. Just a few weeks ago, we were dealing with scenes that look like this. Now we're transitioning to scenes that look more like this and blink your eyes and this is what you'll see. But as spring warms up, a tiny and potentially life-threatening bug is just waking up from winter. It is the season for ticks. Ticks will begin hatching as soon as temperatures get into the 60s. And at that point, they'll begin looking for their spring meals. When the ticks do hatch, their first meal is usually a white-footed field mouse. And the white-footed field mouse is where the ticks contract most, if not all, of the diseases that everyone is so desperate to avoid. So what do you need to do to prevent you or your pet from getting a tick bite? First off, stick to the safe areas of play. These are out in the open with good exposure to the sun. The risk areas are 10 feet from the edges of the woods, and that's where you'll find the greatest incidence of ticks. The female lays her eggs in the fall. Frank Clancy is chief arborist of green sprays and says getting a licensed professional to come out and spray an organic tick spray is the best way to prevent ticks in your yard. It is a perimeter spray. We basically spray all the perimeter areas of habitat, woodlands, stone walls, under shrubbery around the foundation of someone's house. Spraying is typically done three to five times per year. In the spring, spraying kills baby ticks that people often associate with Lyme disease and other tick-borne illnesses. The summer spray will kill off the adults looking for the second meal, and the last spray in the fall is actually the most important. This spray will kill off the pregnant ticks and their eggs. For all the tips on keeping your family safe from ticks or to watch the full interview with Green Sprays, head over to WXEdge.com. I'm meteorologist Sam Cantro, News 8.